since you've played with so many different musicians, whether it be in the Alice Cooper band or, you know, collaborations that you've done, what is special about Johnny Depp and, and Joe Perry uh, to you that you decided or I don't know how the, the, the first original idea who brought it up first, but for you three to make a band? Because you obviously would have your pick of the litter of who to collaborate with. What's special about Depp yeah. and Perry? This is what it was a series of events really that happened. I was doing uh, Dark Shadows with uh, Johnny Depp in London uh, uh, in that movie, which was a vampire movie to be uh, coincidental, hmm. you know. And um, I started telling him about the original Hollywood Vampires Drinking Club, you know. And we said, wouldn't it be cool to put a bar band together that just does songs celebrating our dead drunk friends? You know, Jim Morrison, Jimi Hendrix, Harry Nilsson, John Lennon, T-Rex, Keith Moon. You know, those were the guys. And, yeah, that's a great idea. Let's do that. I knew Johnny could play. I mean, Johnny was a, a really good player. And Joe walks in and says, I'm in. You know, the next thing I know, Duff McKagan goes, I'm in. Hmm. And, you know, you, you basically you've got an all-star band, you know, right there. And it was supposed to be a bar band. We were supposed to be the world's most expensive bar band. <laughs> and uh, the, we played the Roxy. And then the very next thing I know, we're at Rock and Rio, 200,000 people. And, you know, and, and, the, and the problem with that is everybody on that stage has been in front of 200,000 people before, so it didn't really shock anybody. It wasn't like a freak out that there's 200,000 people there. Even Johnny just fell right into it. He says, we do the same show, whether it's 20 people or 200,000, right? I go, right. And that was really, you know, uh, we immediately became a touring band, a big band. 